Today, I'll show you how to take care of and set up your feeder crickets properly. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Sebastian from Miamo, and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly take care of and set up your feeder crickets so they stay alive as long as possible. So we're going to start off with the setup and you're going to need a container that is big enough for the amount of crickets you have which obviously will depend on whatever amount of crickets that you're going to be needing this container for. So I just have a plastic bin that is 24 inches by 17 inches by 15 inches. But depending on how many crickets you have, you can keep up to a thousand large adult crickets in a 10 gallon aquarium or anything about the size of a 10 gallon aquarium. So I can easily have a thousand crickets in one of these bins. And then I will show you what substrate to use and what's next. Okay, so you want to start off with getting some substrate for the bottom of the cricket container you're going to be using. And I recommend using vermiculite. This is what it looks like. It's going to keep it dry because crickets do like it dry. So this will absolutely do the job. So you want to add a decent amount of this vermiculite just to cover all of the bottom there just like that so you get a huge bag of this off of amazon that will last you forever almost if you need a if you need vermiculite for a ton of crickets so just like that it covers up the whole bottom plus they have some room for burrowing if they need Okay, so now that we have all the substrate in there, now we're going to go off and add our egg cartons. So you want to add egg cartons because this is where the crickets will hide and feel secure. And you just want to add a couple of these. Also, it depends on how many you're going to have. So I'm just going to add three because I'm just adding uh, a couple of pin heads uh, into, this, into this bin. So these three will absolutely make sure that every single one is going to be covered and have a good hiding spot after that you want to add a food dish so this is just a top of a deli cup plastic container because it doesn't really have to be fancy or anything it's also not necessary it's just going to make cleaning them a lot easier because instead of having to pick out the uh food i want to make sure it fits in there so you want to make sure that the food that they're eating doesn't get all moldy and gross. So this is just much easier than having it get all on the substrate. And then you have to take the substrate out with the food. And just like this, you can just pull out the dish as you need to. And it's just, it's just much easier like this. So for this next step, it depends on if you're breeding your crickets or not, is whether you're gonna need to do this or not. So if you do plan on breeding your crickets, then you're gonna need a deli cup or just a small container in general with moist dirt inside. You wanna make sure it's wet and just hydrated. And this is what the female crickets will use as their egg laying nest. So if you are planning to breed them, make sure you have this, put this in the corner of your container like that. And the crickets will themselves find that and lay the eggs in there. But if you don't need to be breeding crickets, then you don't need that. And you can just ignore this step and I just wanted to show you this as an example to you guys because I'm putting little pinhead crickets in here. So they're not gonna be breeding yet, so you, I'm not gonna be needing this. Okay, now final step, actually adding the crickets. Now you can see there's a ton of these little baby pinhead crickets and they were all hatched in this egg laying container, which is exactly what I showed you uh, a second ago. So I'm just gonna put, it in, put them in just like this so that they could themselves uh, crawl out of there and find their way. So I'm just gonna put it down in the corner here and they're gonna be good to go in here. Now you always wanna make sure that your crickets are getting enough food and the right variety of food because you do wanna give your crickets variety so you could gut load them and they would be the best and the healthiest crickets that you could feed your pets. So for actual food, give them potatoes, like these sweet potatoes for variety. And you could also give them carrots. They would, they'll devour all of this. And then for hydration, you wanna give them juicy fruits like oranges. They'll definitely eat apples. 
You could cut them up into pieces, make sure to peel the oranges, um, take the stickers off, obviously. Um, and then you could also give them greens for hydration as also a variety. Always want to be switching it up so that they can have as much food as possible. And then if you don't want to be preparing fruit all the time and doing everything, or you just have a small amount of crickets that you really don't want to go too crazy for, then you could always pick up some of this cr cricket uh, quencher from Fluker's and if you could just pour it in there and the crickets will just swarm it, eat all of it, drink all of it, and that would work perfectly fine too. So basically, it's whatever works for you, but just make sure you're giving them a variety and make sure even if you're giving them the quencher, you're still giving them food like potatoes and sweet potatoes and carrots because they still need to eat. All right, so now that you know what to feed your crickets, when to feed them and everything you got to do with that, next you want to make sure that the temperature is right. So you want to keep them at around 70 to 75 degrees to make sure that they'll always be happy and healthy. And uh, you could use different kinds of heat. You could use either a low wattage heating bulb or you could use a heat mat or heat wire outside the terrarium. Uh, it all depends on what works for you. And it also depends on how big the terrarium is. And But usually 70, 75 degrees will be somewhat room temperature. So most of the time, you could just leave them with no heating, but if you do need heating, then definitely get it. Now, it's also important to be maintaining and cleaning your crickets because they will start to smell if you never clean them. So what I would recommend is if you're giving them fruit for hydration, I would say to clean that out every day. So let's say you're giving them a slice of an orange daily. You want to take that slice of orange, whatever is left of it, out the next day before giving them the new one just to make sure that nothing is going to get moldy and nothing is going to get gross and you want to keep everything as clean as possible and that's all you would have to do on a daily basis but then i would say once a week as needed obviously sometimes you won't need it once a week but i would say at least once or twice a week definitely clean out the entire cage change the substrate uh just clean off the walls uh, if there's any dead crickets laying around take them out and just make sure that everything is clean and good to go before putting your crickets back in the cage and keeping them going until next time. So that's basically everything that you would need to know to take care of your crickets and make sure that they stay alive until you are feeding them to your pets or if you're breeding them, this will also keep them alive as long as possible from the breed so you can get more crickets. So that's everything for today's video. I hope that I was able to help you out if you are going to be setting up a new colony of crickets and you were able to learn something new from this video. And if you did, then please like, subscribe. If you wanna see any other type of videos, please comment, let me know what you would like to see. If there's anything you would do differently, let me know down in the comments too. Any tips, any, any information you would wanna add, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'll read them all through and please like, subscribe and everybody have a good one.